Hello, Jim Lurkey, owner of Safety Connections. And my blurb for the week is on why communication is so necessary. That is my absolute message for the week. I jotted some notes to make sure I wanted to cover the types of things that come to my mind. So, <clears throat> over the years, I've always felt that leaders have understood the importance of effective communication skills. Now, whether they practice them or not, I think that's a whole different game. That's why I think they've been receptive to different techniques and ways of developing communication skills, especially when you talk about the different generations that we deal with. So, why then is communication essential today? Number one, leaders must be good communicators. They must be able to inspire, empower the employees, all right? And without good communication skills, a leader won't be heard and understood by others. It's that critical. So we need to develop a bond. Uh, effective leadership, in my opinion, is measured by the time a team takes a complete task and does it without any friction and the skills of communication play an important role, all right, in that. It brings together the team members to achieve a desired result by clearly defining the goals and that's communication and responsibilities. And meanwhile, a lack of communication makes it really tough to achieve goals and it decreases productivity. By clearly communicating goals and roles and responsibilities and important information, it helps bring the team together in a stronger bond, which results in a stronger team. And you avoid the miscommunications and the quarrels, if you would. You need to build trust. How is trust built? Well, I go back to commitment and leading by example. Actions and words must match. That's how you build a team, and it's through communicating. We need to be active listeners. I can tell you, being frank, that that was one of my biggest single things. Focused on the goal, know where I wanted to go. It was always, how do you get there? And even to this day, I still don't stop learning. We should know when to stop. And I think I've come to that realization today. By doing so, we gain the employee's trust. We become, we become more open to listening to opinions, ideas, grievances, you name it. And that includes other leaders. Clarity. An effective communicator has to clarify thoughts, transform it into words, and sometimes we have to reiterate or have them repeat back to us what they heard to force to make sure that we understand clearly as defined. Empathy. I believe to be the top leader, our skill is needed to be, to successfully execute several functions. Therefore, leaders must acknowledge and leaders must be empathetic toward the perils and the adversaries of their employees and what they face and what they need. In addition, the ability to ask open-ended questions. We need to receive and implement feedback. Transparent in everything we do, body language. Don't forget body language, that's the key. 
What is so therefore, what is the role of a leader? And I'm gonna read this in my thoughts. For ages, leaders have been motivators who have been encouraging others to work on themselves and achieve their goals. This ability of great leader results from effective communication skills that they possess. It is believed that effective communication is linked to great leadership skills and that many successful leaders like, for an example, Abraham Lincoln, who comes up, have been strong communicators. Therefore, effective communication skills are simply a prerequisite to becoming a successful leader today. So, therefore, what is that role of communication in a leader? Helping others to define goals for team members clearly. Help them to understand those goals and desires and solve their grievances. And remember that effective communication skills also help foster an open and good rapport between leaders and their teams. In the end, the things that we discussed will increase productivity and efficiency. And beside, better yet, you become a great team. That is my message for the week. Have a great week, everyone.